Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to City Skylines. Today we are back in the lovely land of Tsunami where we are going to be testing a few more fluid dynamic stuff. And you may notice as well, look, I got rid of the, the edge mist. So we can finally see what was going on back here. What was causing the tsunami? Some sort of, some sort of huge cliff. And then I don't know why, but that causes the tsunami on this map. Interesting. Well, unle unless you're this guy, then not so interesting. Because you probably don't care why it's there. You just care that it is there. Anyway, this time, if we go all the way over here, I've been tasked with the job of defending the center of engineering. This very, very efficient looking building here. Now, this is the engineer's HQ. And if we if we look out, you'll see the tsunami is, is pretty much going to hit. There's nothing to stop it, really. And you've seen me defend cities in a variety of ways from tsunamis. We've had pumps. We've had deflection. We've had a Tesla valve. We had my take on a Tesla valve that I thought was a Tesla valve, but it wasn't really a Tesla valve, so I did the real Tesla valve afterwards. And we even had ditches and canals, which worked surprisingly well, actually. And you might think, well, Matt, surely you're just milking this idea now. Like, sure. <laughs> Shut up, Daisy. Shut up, Daisy. But yes, this time it's different because we're not just saving a city. We are trying to save engineering itself. So this is what we're trying to prevent from happening. And let's see what happens as the tidal wave hits the heart of engineering. Oh, it's hideous. It's horrible. Oh, no. They've gone. They've completely gone. <laughs> now I know how Paddy the dog feels. Anyway, now you can see this is this is what could happen if we don't put some defenses in. So first off, you might be asking yourself, well, Matt, what, what sort of defense are you going to try this time? Well, to start with, I, I'm not sure. I don't think I've ever tried. I don't actually think anyone's ever tried. But do you like buildings stop tsunamis and i think what i want to do i want to do like a few different tests so we're gonna have a load of road like this and then i'm gonna split this into different sort of segments basically we're gonna come down here and use this zoning tool i've got a mod on that gives us infinite demand so everything down here they're on very high demand which basically means as i paint on like a low density residential area as soon as i press play people should start building their houses so they're all going up there now i'm just gonna hit pause because I want to add a high density residential area, a low density commercial zone area, a high density one, an industrial zone, and an office zone. And I am just going to dam down here as well. Put some water intakes on this side, some sewage outlets on that side, and then cover everything in pipes as efficiently as I can. Yes, the hallmark of efficient drainage design there. And then if I just connect these up with some pylons, hopefully that should mean as this city grows that people People will stop complaining about not having power and stuff and therefore they won't demolish their buildings now i might just connect this very very dodgily to the highway yep look at that truck <laughs> look how fast they're flying and we've just got we've just got a random turn on there just give weight so if you're driving out this road it's like oh i'll just pull up and then i'll just give way to <laughs> look how fast they're coming down whoa whoa but yeah that's fine you can see people are moving in like anything oh this is this is actually going pretty well what i want to do i want to see because obviously these these different areas they've got different height buildings and all sorts like the industrial zone has loads and loads of chimney tops whereas the low density residential is pretty it's pretty small just like single story buildings oh god we've got we got a house on fire we got a house on fire already well don't worry mate the fire department around here they they like to over engineer it but yeah basically we'll be measuring to see which which one of these stops waves better and is it is it taller buildings do taller buildings help prevent waves now before we go too far i've got some more space over here so let's hit pause and let's try and find some really tall buildings so if we head into unique buildings i know there are definitely some in here now i think this the high interest tower is sort of like one of the biggest towers you can build at least in the standard game like look at the size of those compared to like down here it dwarfs everything so if we build these in a rip wrap pattern so this is what we actually use in real life like at the at the end of like culvert outlets that go into the river and stuff if we're trying to slow the flow down now you might see this pattern like sometimes out of rock sometimes out of like precast concrete sheet and basically the idea is as water comes down here it obviously gets bounced back by the blocks but water can still get round and any water that say it came like straight down like that really fast it would go between those two not ideal for slowing down but then it would bash into this wall and it'd have to go around and around so the theory is this should allow water through 
rude, but just slower. Now, I am pretty sure this has probably never been done in buildings in real life. So <laughs> we will have to see what happens here. Probably won't follow real life. Uh, but I am very intrigued to know whether the tall buildings actually slows the tsunami down at all. So that's probably like the biggest surface area in terms of like the front of the building. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Can you actually imagine a city built like that as well? It would be it would be horrendous, I'm not going to lie. I mean, what else do we have in unique buildings? I mean, we do have the observation tower, the one that we're trying to protect at the end. We do also have this, the Cathedral of Plenitude. See how tall this... Oh, it's actually it's smaller than that building, is it? Oh, it's, it's not far off. I thought it was, like, way taller. Oh, man, even these aren't that much taller. How blooming tall are these PS5 buildings? They're huge. Tell you what, let's do a load of these, the drop tower ride. I mean, they're quite tall, but they're not very tall. Be interesting to see if they work any better than like a load of solid buildings. So we'll grab all of those with the move it mod and then we can copy them up to another road. There we go. I'm sure that might stop a tsunami. I'm actually, it could. It actually could. Looking through it, it could. Uh, here we have a railway. So I'm wondering, could, could we use a railway? Let's bung a train station down. If we come out with some tracks, I mean, perhaps we could do a bit of like, a bit of a around here maybe go uphill a little bit there we go a nice little railway there that should hopefully stop some tsunami -age. i mean it's pretty high it's sort of dense i mean i imagine water will get through there <laughs> look at <laughs> oh look at that bridge you know what that means it's time for a bridge review from some angles it is a truss bridge but from other angles it's definitely just an optical illusion this bridge allows trains to go from all the way down here to all the way up here not only is it part of a unique experiment to see if we can stop a tsunami but it also helps in the advertisement of burgers so therefore i give this bridge a slanted 3.9 out of 10 bridge review right nice that is that done we've nearly filled this stuff up by the way if you want to get a bridge review t-shirt and do bridge reviews yourself in real life check out merch store real civil engineer store right so i found a cheeky little workshop one i downloaded pinoa street so let's shove a few of these in so again we're going for the rip wrap orientation to try and get the gaps between the buildings in so that's all of those done oh man <laughs> Look at those. Wow. Then I wouldn't mind, if I'm honest, either do I put a piece of architecture to help save the engineer? I feel like that's not realistic. And we're trying to be realistic here. So I got something better instead. Now, that is some engineering. We're going to be trying using the power of bridges to stop the tsunami. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, so this is this is looking pretty good, in my opinion. We've got people moved in pretty much everywhere. And then since the tsunami is getting close, I probably, I probably want to pause right about now. Have they finished building? Yeah, I think everyone's in. Let's hit pause. And then up the top, this little bird. Usually, he's got a little hard hat on like that because he, he's an engineering bird, isn't he? However, when I turn on Anarchy mod... He disappears, which is no good. So unfortunately, we have to remove the hard hat in order to turn our bird from a normal bird into a hardcore engineering anarchy bird. And anarchy is a mod that basically allows you to copy and paste anything anywhere, essentially. So if I grab the move it mod and then we literally just say, I want to grab all of this. My frame rate is not going to like this. And then we want to copy it pressing this button. Oh god, should I do this? I should probably save first. My poor, poor PC. And then we're going to press this button here. Copy. And then hopefully we should be able to copy these just behind them like that. And then now I've clicked. There we go. They're all in. Oh god, they're taking a long time to load. What is going on there? Anyway, we'll do another line behind them. I might regret this. I want... <laughs> I wonder if my PC will survive. And I guess for luck, I'll click again. Is that is that really worth doing? I feel like that's probably enough at that point. I don't want to overdo it before the wave arrives. Oh man, my GPU fans are like, I can fill the air. <laughs> Anyway, look at that. I think this is like the biggest city I've ever built. Oh, it's, it's spawning in. It is spawning in. There we go. Oh, then we're fine. The game the game's back in action. Right, so I might hit save on this. And then if this sort of does anything, then I guess I could try copying more back there. But I don't... Oh, man, this is literally the coolest thing I've ever built in this game. <laughs> and to be fair, I've built quite a lot of stuff that I'm quite proud of. Oh, God, I just copied another one. <laughs> I think that was like on a five minute delay or something. Okay, we better wait for that one to spawn. Oh, look. Look at the wave of happiness. Everyone's so happy. 
Everyone was so happy. I don't know why they're happy. My computer is definitely not happy. But we'll just wait for everything to load at the back. I think... Oh, there we go. We've got some skyscrapers. Nice. Come on, bridges. Come on, Sydney Harbour bridges. Where are you? Show me your steel. Show me your steel. Anyway, they're in. And they're loaded. Look at this place. Oh, my goodness. I feel sort of bad that it's about to get destroyed by a tidal wave. I won't lie. The most productive thing I've ever built on this game. And this is how I treat it. Anyway, I'm over it now. So let's press play and let's see what happens. Oh, I feel like this is this is actually a way to slow the tsunami down. Make your PC suffer in agony from building way too many buildings. And then the tsunami barely moves. So yeah, we are on times three speed. It's just, just not happening. Although actually, hurry up a bit because look, we're losing, we're losing our buildings. They're on fire. We're losing chimneys that could help stop the tsunami. Right, I really, I don't know where to start if I'm honest. I'm guessing the big buildings because they're probably going to make the most difference, right? Oh, the water's going up the front of them. The water is going up the front. Wow, they're going up really, really. Oh, and the buildings, they collapsed. Okay, that's not good. That is not good. What's going on with these skyscrapers over here? They are getting eaten by the tsunami. Uh, and the front line, yep, they're all collapsing, as is my frame rate, apparently. <laughs> Uh, so looking along along the way, there's definitely ripples. Like, that is not a flat level. Oh, God, my PC hates this. I'll tell you what, I'm, I might literally have to slow it down to normal speed. Right, over here, over at the start, can we see whether these small buildings... This is the low-density residential. That wave looks sort of... It looks pretty smooth on top. I don't think it's being disrupted too much. But then here, right next to it, these are the high-density ones. A lot bigger buildings. I mean, check out the top of that wave. That is getting disrupted way more than over here way way more which i guess implies that the the height of the building is definitely definitely helping so down here we have the low density commercial area this is where there's like pancake shops dentists that advertise really sugary treats <laughs> diners and all you know that sort of stuff hang on a second hang on a second they've literally that's changed they've vanished in front of my eyes i swear there are more buildings than this they've all been replaced with dirt hang on a second what's going on here the game's just been like nah i, c I can't hack this matt sorry mate but um we're replacing your buildings with grass all right let's just stay looking and see look it's happening in front of your eyes it's happening in front of our eyes. Is this the evacuation? Did the, did someone warn them that there was a tsunami coming? Are you all being evacuated? What is going on? You're meant to stand still. You're meant to hold the wall. Hold the door. <laughs> anyway, anyway, let's head back over this way. Oh my goodness. It's worked. My skyscraper rip wrap. It's actually worked. Look behind. Look how dry that is. Oh my goodness. I was not expecting that. I will not lie to you. I did not think that would work. Over here. Look at these skyscrapers. The front ones are still there. Granted, the wave is actually still passing through these ones. That's quite interesting. So the water is passing through, but the buildings aren't being destroyed. Now, what about our Sydney Harbour bridges? How are they getting on? You can see the bridge getting completely eaten. That actually looks like the stock footage that we used in another, like the intro to one of the old videos. Uh, but yeah, back to the game. It's it is actually destroying every single bridge in its path. I'm guessing bridges don't make the best tsunami defense. I'm looking at these, like, these right. Are there actually, don't say there's actually people. Hang on, let's pause it. Let's pause it. Oh my goodness, look. There's actually people on this right. Look how calm this guy looks. And if we spin around to see what he's looking at. I guess, I mean, to be fair, he probably can't really see. But there's a huge freak off tsunami heading straight towards his face. And he's spending his last last moments on earth on a roller coaster i mean fair play that's actually that's a good way to go probably i mean if you had to go it's probably up there uh, but wow zooming out i mean these skyscrapers absolutely nailed the tsunami there's like there's like nothing there like in the middle there literally isn't a wave this is just like that's just water coming from the edges like where where these buildings decided to bugger off <laughs> <laughs> and replace themselves with grass. Um, wow, okay, this was this was awesome. Mino you know, over here, how how is this look? I feel like this test isn't really fair anymore. And we're sort of looking at the height. Okay, that is definitely the highest tsunami. So what what sort of buildings were these? I think these were if we check our zoning. Yeah, these were the high density, high density commercial area, actually creating the biggest tsunami. The low density commercial next to it. I mean the wave here is tiny compared to that. I thought I thought with the bigger buildings, the high density would be a lot better. Anyway, all of these buildings, look at look at the height of that wave. And then if we head this way, the skyscrapers 
completely the the tsunami's just gone. The roller coaster right. I think that bloke might have survived. Where is he? Right, okay, maybe not. There is there is a bit of water in here. There is there's definitely a bit of water, I will tell you that. Um the railway I mean to be fair, railway has done a reasonable job considering how <laughs> How chaotic it is. I mean, I feel like Josh would even be proud of that railway, if I'm honest. Yeah, skyscrapers, fair play. We sort of expect that from the big buildings over there. The Sydney Harbour Bridge, though. Not gonna lie, a little bit disappointed. Is this one gonna survive? All the ones behind it have been destroyed. No, it disappeared. It disappeared into the abyss. I thought it might have survived, but no. What about the last one? Because that's... I mean, come on, that's barely getting wet. Barely. Ignore those two pillars. They're probably not structural. They're probably just just visual, right? No, it's down. Oh, the pillars are down. The pillars are down. Is the bridge going to stay up? Is the arch... Oh, no, it's gone. <laughs> well, let's look from above and see see the results. I mean, pretty much every, every building didn't really work. I mean, that's still quite a big tsunami. I think the stuff I did in the middle, it pretty much it did all work a lot better than everything else. But I do feel like... These, these skyscrapers, they sort of gave... Like, can you see the ones on this side of these? Like, they all survived the rides. I'm pretty sure that was, that was these skyscrapers helping out, if I'm honest. Uh, but yeah, that was extremely unexpected. I did not think skyscrapers would stop a tsunami. <laughs> so does that mean tsunamis aren't really a risk to, like, big cities? Because if you've got enough skyscrapers, you can just stay dry. I mean, I mean, it looks like our balls might get a little bit damp. But, like, that's just a casual Friday night, innit? Right, anyway, guys, on that note, we will say peace, love, and skyscrapers are multi-purpose buildings. Bye, guys!